Hi guys, so I wanted to walk you through what you're gonna be working on today since I'm not able to explain it to you in the Google Meets. Just a reminder, we will not have a Google Meets today. I will see you tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, back in the Google Meets. So today we're gonna work on overpopulation stations. Um, before you kind of start on the overpopulation stations though, I wanted you to be introduced to the EETM, which really closely aligns to the demographic transition model, but this is more like the medical side of it, okay? So take, you know, take a quick second to read through, um, a, you know, a brief description about, you know, kind of how it all kind of came to be. Um, and then there's a, a video for you to watch about it as well. As you watch the video, you're going to complete the chart with a description of what it is and then the effects it has on the population, okay? Um, like I said, I think you'll find this kind of lines up pretty nicely to the demographic transition model, which is what we talked about on Friday. So just kind of think about that too as you're kind of watching the video. So that's the first thing you need to complete, okay? Once you uh, have completed that, then you're going to move into the Malthus uh, theory, which is um, on population, okay? So that's station one. So you're going to watch the uh, video. It's a lot of video watching today. Um, and then jot down some notes, kind of your thinking as you're watching, like what do you think about the theory, um, questions you might have, what's it based on, um, just so you have a general understanding of the the population theory. Um, so that's station one. Then station two, you're going to look at the Hans Rosling theory of population. And this is a little bit more modern take on it. So what's his claim on overpopulation in his video? And he's still alive. It's, you know, he, this is a TED talk. Um, and what data does he use to support this? So answer those two questions in these blue boxes. Then you're going to look at Esther Bosrup. Um, she's another population theorist, um, and we don't actually have a video, just a little bit of information about Esther Bozrup. Um, if you feel like you need more information about it, you can Google the Bozrup theory and get more information, but this is just some kind of underlying information about her. Um, and then we have the, the Neo, so the people who believe opposite of Thomas Malthus. Um, so here, this station is about the neo -Matheans. So you're going to click here. This is the article for you to kind of read through. It's not very long. Um, all right, and then you're going to, um, there's a second, this is the same article. So that way if you're like, oh, what's the two links? It's the same article, I just put it on both slides. Then you're gonna answer the questions um, about the Neo, so opposite of Thomas Malthus, okay? And then you need to decide where do you fall are you with Thomas Malthus or are you a neo Malthusian? Um, is there hope? Um, the Bose Rupp and Rosling really have more hope about population. Do you feel like there's hope? Um, and then explain your answer in detail. This will take you pretty close to the full hour and a half to complete. So you should plan on use your time during the class period to work on this and get this done. Okay. Um, you know, you, you should you should be able to finish everything within the hour and a half. So make sure you're using your time wisely. All right. I will see you guys on Wednesday. I hope you have a great day.